So when we think about BGP, you also have to think about BGP peers. So two different networks talking to one another and establishing a connection and exchanging routing information. And so when we think about that, there are three key things to remember. First, there's BGP peers, then there's BGP sessions, and then there's the BGP table itself. So a peer is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to be my neighbor on the network, whomever I am talking to next. More than likely, it's my upstream provider that I'll be peering my organization's local data center with that larger ISP or telco network that I get pro uh, that I'm provided service from. And then we have BGP sessions, and BGP sessions are essentially that joining of those two network entities to be able to exchange information and exchange routing. And then we have the routing tables or the BGP tables themselves. So this is going to be where I, as an organization, advertise up to my provider the networks that I'm publicly making accessible over the internet for them to establish a BGP session with so that they know that I have those networks within my organization or within my AS. It's really these three components that form the foundation of the actual BGP peering between two different entities. So again, my peer, my session itself, meaning the information that I'm exchanging, and then the BGP table. So the routes that I have and the routes that my upstream provider is aware of. Whenever you're troubleshooting a BGP issue, the first thing that you should be looking at is your BGP table to see if you have your sessions established and in a correct state. 